Ladies and gentlemen, the capital city of Kenya can fit in one frame. 65, baby, let's go. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Lydia Nabalayo, aka Miss Nabalayo, and here I'm Miss Naba Vlogs. So, in today's video, if you people have watched my previous video, which by the way, if you haven't, I'll be linking it somewhere here and also down below, so that you can go watch it once you're done with this. But I told you people there's this really, really beautiful place in Drongai that I couldn't show you people because I had cuts that I had to study, which were postponed. And then this lecture I gave us assignments, which if you do not, if you do not admit it on its due date, you're deducted 25 marks every day. I'm telling you where you are just take a moment of silence and pray for any student of the University of Nairobi because what so what we are going to do is it's currently two I want to go and see if I can maybe do one question or two of that assignment and then once the sun is a little bit down because I don't want to go when it's really really sunny I want to show you people the most beautiful beautiful place in rongai you're going to love it because i love it i'm telling you it's going to be extremely you know what let me just stop talking let's just go on second thought you know what i'm going to pack but while i pack my belongings getting ready to travel tomorrow i want you people to enjoy some beautiful beautiful sights anytime you're in Drongai, apart from looking at the distance the jam you know um the roads because they are currently making them so not all the roads are perfect why not just look at the horizons the horizons here are really beautiful the views in Drongai are to die for you know how we normally say um one thing that really sells Drongai is the nganyas but man the views for me it has got to be the views so anytime you are in Drongai just make sure you look past past the influx of students because hey there are a lot of students here um so past the influx of students past the influx of um everything and just look past that you're going to love 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 Drongai Okay, fam, so I'm all packed up. I've packed all my belongings, I've done all that. It's 4 30, and we are going to the most beautiful place in Drongai. It's, however, quite a trek from where we live, but at least today I get to go there with you, so I have company. So let's go. This mountain people, it usually kills me. Anytime, by the time I'm reaching up there, I'm panting like I was born to pant. Way. It's quite a distance. 
this empty field is where uh, Maasai graze their cows, but sometimes they come up to where we are right now. And where we have come from is known as Olekasasi A, that's where I come from. And where we are headed is known as Olekasasi B. Can we just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful, beautiful this place is? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You'll be able to see like Nairobi CBD there. There are the buildings. I really hope you can see it. It is so, so beautiful, so magical. It's literally the best view Rongai has ever seen. don't have the best camera I wish like my camera could translate what my eyes could see because it's abnormal beauty it's really really beautiful but anytime you're around Rongai come to a place called Masai Lodge take a tuk-tuk or a taxi I'd advise you to take a tuk-tuk towards Africa Nazarene tell that person I'm not sure I'm not sure about the last stage I don't know if the last stage is Nazarene itself or Ole Kasasi be the place behind me. The place behind me is called Ole Kasasi B. So I don't know where exactly you'll be told to a late. But now let me show you a really nice place right ahead of Africa Nazarene. A very quiet, serene place that I've never been here when students were in session. So I don't know the population of Nazarene, but I don't know I know it's not a lot of students and I don't think it's usually occupied so it's a really nice place for you to chill and just relax let me show you how far we've come from um see that one of the Maasai then ah, we've come from far 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 I really can't tell it I think that cassette light oh yeah that cassette light there is where we've come from imagine and we continue to walk we continue to forge ahead now as i had told you people but i think i'll need to sit down for this because i know what uh, this cars behind me and also somewhere that i can block the wind because i've come in the evening the winds are pregnant <laughs> with rain so maybe probably it was rain i don't know but let me reach the place and then i can talk this here is the chapel of the nazarene i'm not sure let me let me go read that signpost over there but i think it's the nazarenean chapel or something like that this is the front view i think they're repairing the roofs or something this is how it looks like and it's called the University Church of the Nazarene.
So this is the spot. And then you see right there, there's a gate. I don't know where exactly that gate leads to. But um, you see there are a lot of really nice grasses over there. And <laughs> you guys, uh, when the sun sets on this spot that I'm walking through, I thought I'd get the sunset. That's why I'm coming the evening. But now oh my goodness, Ruby again. Okay, let me let me see if I can show you. See it, see it. Oh, there it is. Oh my. See it, so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, as I was saying, this is a really, really nice place for a sunset. Uh, I thought today I'd get the sun setting, but today is quite a gloomy, cloudy day, so we won't get that. But right here where I am right now, you're not on the road. You are on quite a peaceful, a nice place. Imagine taking photos from here. I actually wanted to come do a photo shoot from here, but now I need a photographer. Yeah, let me show you this. So, where uh, the cabas? This is the place, the really nice place. You see the trees and all that, and then now you here. It's going to be a really nice place. And then there's a boulevard here. The last time I was here, this gate was closed. I'm scared I might enter, and then I'll be caught, and then they'll say I'm the one who opened it. But, okay, let's just do it. Let's see. I really don't know what a boulevard is. I keep reading it, but I never go check out what it means. So, we are going to check out the meaning of a boulevard and then let's leave a door want to be caught here. <laughs> Let me close the door. I think someone broke in or something. I don't know. So I want to take uh, the closing, uh, I want to finish this video with Nairobi City. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it because I'm using my back camera. But uh, I want to conclude this video by um, the reason Australia started taking walks. We all know that 2020 has been quite a tough year, and for me, it has been a tough year for my mental health. Um, when I came here to Nairobi, you noticed I took a social media class the whole of November. I kind of needed space to think and most of the time in as much as I maybe don't see it as much but I think I was maybe falling into depression and one of the things that I do is one I take the social media cleanse even as I'm even as I come for the walk my phone is usually at home I switch it off and leave it at home but right now I've come with my phone and just made sure I don't switch on my data because social media is an everything distractor and for me just taking this walk just uh, quite peaceful for me and I must say quite therapeutic. I've even taught myself to switch off my phone. So there's a moment where I just switch off my phone and for like the whole evening until the next morning. And it's quite therapeutic. I just make sure that my family is around me so that nobody calls me those who make my priority right now. So you guys, um, let, I want to share with you real quick what the first thing that I learned when I took this walk. And then we can finish the video by let my hand left first. The sun is coming. The sun is coming. Now I don't know if you can see right behind me when the sun starts hitting this place. It's actually a really nice, a really beautiful, beautiful place with Kidogo noise like that. Do they that speaking nice and a beautiful place? I actually love how silent Nazarene is. I'm even glad that I moved to Lower Kabete Campus UN because it's kind of as quiet and like main campus where I was initially. But what I learned was as few people saw the road was a little bit tricky. There's a plane right above me. 
the road was a little bit tricky and you get tired because it's not a short distance i think it takes uh, 45 minutes for me there's some people who walk real fast but me i walk really slowly but i remember looking back and i saw oh my god this is so beautiful and it is so worth it that i walked this entire distance so that i could see how beautiful the whatever i've left behind me looks like and i remember in that moment learning to appreciate 2020 if you follow me on i really hope i don't look my camera but let me rest my let me rest my hand a little bit if you follow me on instagram i told you i'd written a poem a poem about 2020 thing like 2020 but it starts in the casting 2020 i said i'm sorry about that i think i'll miss that but i have said it um but I remember looking back and in that moment it hit me that in as much as 2020 has been a rough year but you look at it when you look behind it's actually been a beautiful year you've learned a lot you've gained a lot you've lost a lot of baggage and you've gained a lot of helpful weight so that's a really good thing that I learned and I want to share with you people so now because my hand is getting tired and I don't want to continue I'm start going home Ah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Moral of the story, start taking walks. Discover the places around you. I'm telling you, Kenya is beautiful. You don't need to have money in order to see the beauty of Kenya. You can see it even by walking on your feet. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all and bye-bye. This is my 49th video. I want to now shoot the 50th video and I'll have done 50 videos in 2020.